Top 10 Most Explosive Oscars Moments Ever Hello and welcome to Top 10 Wonders YouTube channel. So before we get started make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Oh, you thought Will Smith slapping Chris Rock was unhinged? Well, you're actually not wrong about that, but it's also not the first time that something totally ridiculous has happened at the Oscars. Unsurprisingly, when you get a bunch of actors, directors and other people working in the entertainment industry together in one room, drama always seems to follow. Here are 10 of the most shocking Oscars moments to date. Number 10, Marlon Brando boycotts, and rejects, his Best Actor Award, 1973. When Marlon Brando won Best Actor for The Godfather, no one could have expected what happened next. Not only did the actor boycott the event, he sent Native American activist and actress Sachin Littlefeather in his stead. When his name was announced, she made a speech rejecting the award, citing the treatment of Native Americans in the film industry. Number 9, Eleanor Burkett Interrupts Roger Ross Williams, the first black director to win an Oscar, 2010. Even the Academy Awards has a Karen or two in the audience. When Roger Ross Williams won the award for Best Documentary Short, the first African-American director to ever win an Oscar dash his historic acceptance speech was cut short Kanye style by the film's producer, Eleanor Burkett. Number 8, Michael Moore Boot Off Stage, 2003. That same year, filmmaker Michael Moore won Best Documentary for Bowling for Columbine, but his moment of glory was short-lived. After Moore used his acceptance speech time to rail against the Bush presidency and Iraq war, he was loudly booed, some audience members applauded, however. Number 7, Adrian Brody and Halle Berry, 2003. Speaking of Halle Berry, remember when Adrian Brody aggressively kissed her on the mouth, in front of the entire world, after she announced his win for Best Actor in The Pianist? Hopefully somebody has explained the concept of consent to Brody since then. Number 6, Seth MacFarlane's Crass Song, 2013. Another off-color joke that hasn't exactly aged well is Seth MacFarlane's We Saw Your Boobs song, which he performed as host back in 2013. The song points out every actress in the audience whose breasts he had seen on screen, including Meryl Streep, Jodie Foster, Halle Berry and a very uncomfortable Charlize Theron. In light of the Harvey Weinstein scandal, where he famously pressured actresses into doing topless and explicit scenes, the bit was just tasteless and demeaning to the women that the event was supposed to be honoring. Number 5, Sean Penn's Racist Joke, 2015. Sean Penn faced criticism when he presented the award for Best Picture to Mexican director Alejandro González Iñárritu, asking, who gave this son of a bee his green card? Even worse, Penn doubled down and refused to apologize afterwards, saying anyone who took offense was stupid for not understanding the irony of his comments in a country that is so xenophobic. Number 4, John Travolta and Adina Menzel, 2014. On the opposite side of the familiarity spectrum, John Travolta seemed to have not even heard of singer-songwriter Adina Menzel when he butchered her name ahead of her performance of Let It Go at the 2014 Oscars, it's not as though that song was virally popular or anything. He kind of made up for it the following year on stage with Menzel, but also made it worse by awkwardly groping her face as he finally pronounced her five-syllable name correctly. Number 3, Angelina Jolie and James Haven, 2000. They're estranged today, but back in 2000, siblings Angie and James were exceptionally close. After her Best Supporting Actress win that year, she raised eyebrows for telling the world she was so in love with, her, brother right now in her acceptance speech, and later kissing Haven on the lips. Number 2, in Vela Peggett, 2017. It wasn't that long ago that Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway were wreaking their own havoc on the Oscars stage, when they incorrectly announced that La La Land was the Best Picture winner, it was actually Barry Jenkins' Moonlight. Confusion ensued, with Ryan Gosling barely containing his giggles over the whole chaotic affair. Number 1, Slapgate, 2022. On March 27, Will Smith slapped Chris Rock on stage during the 94th Oscars at the Dolby Theatre in Hollywood, California, for making a comment about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Thank you for watching.